Vince Russo, was your first a real meeting with WWF head honchos? I'm assuming it was, was it Vince McMahon or was it Vince Russo, in fact? No, actually, um, I'm trying to think. I mean, everything went through Vince because he was the head honcho, like you said. I just, you know, I, from what I remember, it's, it, I don't think I actually, and Vince Russo, yeah, I would have, I would consult with him and backstage and whatnot, but I think it was like the agents that were assigned to the match that would go over specifics in the match and creatively, if I had questions or whatever, um, I could talk to Vince Russo, but I don't think my storyline or my character at the time really required a whole lot of time, honestly, because it was pretty basic and simple and quite frankly, kind of stupid, you know, it was a looking back. I mean, it was kind of a goofy character, goofy gimmick, a couple of them that I, I played, but uh, I, I think it was just really the, the, the Asian at the time that was assigned because they're getting the direct word from, I guess, Vince Russo or coming from Vince McMahon. So that's all I can really say about from what I remember of that. Uh, with uh, Vince Russo, are you with him? WCW, he brought you in um, after you left WWF in 1999. We're both Jim Cornette guys, as we've uh, said before, but um, Vince Russo, are you a Vince Russo guy as well? Because he uh, he also, you know, did stick with you and he really, uh, you know, he, he did pretty right by you, I think, in WCW as well. Absolutely, yeah, because when that thing happened with the, the whole tape recorder incident with WWE, I was, man, for a couple of months, I was very concerned about, because there was no viable company really to go to, but WCW at the time. And so, you know, it's a small community, people talk and I, you know, but it was Vince Russo. I knew I had a shot because I knew that he, I, you know, I believe he liked me and saw my talent and wanted to give me that opportunity because him and Ed Ferrara, I think, uh, I think Ed, Ed, went, Ed went over to WCW as well, worked with, with Vince Russo. But, and that's, those are the guys that came up with the meat character. But um, I knew I had a chance or a shot, I believe, with them being in the office. And so I think I heard the story. It was Terry Taylor, who actually I stayed in touch with or something. And he uh, put the word in for me, uh, you know, that I was available. And, and everyone had heard what happened. So they want to know the real story. And they got to talking to me and I explained the story a thousand times. And so they gave me a shot by having me come over to the WCW power plant. And that's the, where I met the likes of uh, Sean O'Hare, uh, Mark Jindrak, Chuck Palumbo, Mike Sanders, Alan Funk, uh, a few of the other guys, uh, a guy named Reno and uh, Johnny the Bull. And so, um, you know, I think they were just kind of, kind of testing me out to see I felt in some ways I had been in the business for about a year and a half at that point, including training. So I had still been, you know, very new to the business. I think they were just saying, let's just see uh, how he is. Let's test him out. So I was doing the Hindu squats and the workouts and all that for a couple of weeks with those guys. And I think that's, they took a liking to me and kind of took me in because they, they believed my story. They, they believed in me and I had more experience than them coming in. So I think they were able to, pull from some of my experience too. So it was a good fit, you know, and then Paul Orndorff was there, Mr. Wonderful, God rest his soul. But I was a huge Mr. Wonderful fan growing up and um, he took a liking to me as well. So, you know, I just busted my ass in the power plan and, and essentially started all over again. And, and so they finally said, Hey, yeah, let's, let's, let's do business. So I was, I was in business again and I was so grateful, man. So thankful to have that opportunity, especially with, with what had happened. And knowing in my heart, you know, I didn't meant no wrongful intent whatsoever with that, you know, and it got me fired from my dream job. And but to have that second chance, man, was just uh, I'll always be so grateful for it. And, you know, WCW, I end up making more money, getting more TV time, won the, the, the world WCW Tag Team Championships three times, had way more fun, travel the world and. Uh, you know, WWE is the only company I ever wanted to work for, but it's ironic how that worked out where I end up being treated differently and better, really, with WCW. I wish I would have had that same treatment with WWE because that's ultimately where I, that's the only place I ever wanted to be.